Alrighty, welcome to week five. If you're watching this, it's because you're in my English 11 class and you were gone sometime this week. Um, so this is what we have going on. Um, for my A day, which is fourth period, I will have you three times this week because we actually have a full week of school. And then my B day students, which would be fifth and sixth, I have you just Tuesday and Thursday. Um, reminder number one, I've got two reminders for you. Next week is the end of the first six weeks. So next week on next Friday, you do not have school because it's a grade day. And I told you at the beginning of the semester that I'm changing, slightly changing my like late work policy. So you need to make sure that if you have late work that you have not submitted, that it gets submitted by the end of next week because I won't grade it otherwise, unless you come and talk to me and explain to me why it was not submitted. The whole point of this is to kind of help keep us accountable, to teach us some responsibility, and for you to practice self-advocacy, to, to communicate with me and tell me what's going on. I am not above working things out and having a conversation, but you need to come and talk to me. So please remember that. And reminder number two, um, some of you have been having some questions about the script that you need to have. And again, this is something that I'm requiring for both the, for our Super Bowl project for the magazine ad and the video. Either option, you're gonna make a script because I need to be able to assess your writing skills. So if you need an example of what that looks like, um, I have printed out copies available in my room. Um, they look just like this. This is a picture that I took of them. So if you need that as an example, you can take that. Okay, so um, on Monday and Tuesday, we're going to have Miss Pizzizzo stop by and kind of give us some tips on how to research for sources. But before we do that, I want to explain why she's coming in. Uh, we are going to be writing a, like the final project for this unit, we're going to be writing a persuasive essay and I want to give you kind of the guidelines for that. I'll show you the rubric and all of the like nitty gritty details for it um, later this week, but I want to go over like the purpose of why we're doing this project. So number one, the goal is that you are going to be able to choose a topic and craft an argument, excuse me, an argument around it and then use the rhetorical elements, ethos, pathos, logos, all of that forms of evidence, everything that we've been learning about and reviewing, you're gonna be able to use that in your writing to convince your audience of your topic. And when you're choosing your topic, because I'm giving you lots of freedom to pick what you would want, um, I need you to ask yourself these questions. Can I write enough about this topic to meet the requirements in the rubric? If you can only write one paragraph about something, probably wanna pick a different topic. Will it be easy for me to find enough sources about this topic? Sometimes you have like a very specific idea of what you want to talk about it, but it's so niche and so specific that there's just not a lot of research or sources on it. You need to be able to have enough to meet the requirements. And then the most important is, is this topic actually debatable? Are you picking a topic that's kind of more just like in an opinion or is it actually something that could be argued for more than just one side? If you are doing honors credit for my class, um, there will be an honors option and it's built into this assignment. So I'll show you and explain that later. It's in the rubric. And then we are gonna be having some check-in conferences, um, check-in meetings with me scheduled into our normal class time. This is gonna be an opportunity for you to um, check in with me, show me the feedback that you've been given, talk about your rough draft, which leads me to this point. We're going to be kind of changing our approach to how we write an essay. We have already wrote two. Um, if you were with me first semester, we wrote our inspiration interview essay, and then we wrote one on Born a Crime. So this will be the third essay of the year. Um, I really have been thinking about this a lot, and I want to change the process of how we do this because I feel like a lot of times you get feedback for your paper, but it's way too late like you get it after your final draft is submitted and then you really don't have an opportunity to look at that feedback and actually use it and apply it and try to grow and learn so we're going to be changing that and the, another major thing that we're going to be changing is instead of me okay, saying okay you are going to write your rough draft and it's due on this date and the whole rough draft needs to be due at this time we're going to kind of like break it up into pieces and write one step at a time together. So it's going to be more drawn out of a process, but I'm hoping that it'll be um, more rewarding for you in the end to feel like you actually are learning something about writing and being able to take feedback and use it. 
Okay, so this part of our week, um, if you're absent this day, you can check in with me on it, but Ms. Bezizo is gonna come in and talk to us about how to find sources and show you databases to use. So this part you'll miss if you're not in class, but we can talk about it if you need. And then either the end of Monday or Tuesday or the, just by the end of the week, you need to have this slide filled out. You need to tell me what your topic is, like what you're gonna talk about in your paper, and you need to list your resources. And when I say list, I mean like, just give me the link to them, or you can tell me like the title of the article or whatever. And then as a reminder, there's honors credit built into this. So part of that is having more sources and writing more. Um, so if you ha are doing honors credit, you'll be looking for five sources. If you're doing regular, you just need a minimum of three. That's minimum though. You can go more than that if you want. Okay. We also need to finish our Captain America Civil War activity. We started it um, last week, but we didn't get a chance to finish it. So our goal is to answer this question, which argument is more persuasive, pro-accords or anti-accords? And we got through, most of us got through part two of highlighting ethos, pathos, logos. I think my fourth period, you did not quite get to that point yet, um, but we're gonna finish it. And the goal by finishing this activity is that within your groups, you are going to discuss and decide after analyzing all this and highlighting and identifying, you're going to decide which side, Captain America, which would be anti-accords, or Iron Man, which is pro-accords, is the most persuasive based solely off of the arguments that they make in the film. So you're going to come to a decision and then each group is going to present a 30 second speech as to why they think Captain America or Iron Man is more persuasive. And then for my honors students, if you're pursuing honors credit, um, this is located in Canvas. Um, I'm not going to explain it in this video, but if you need, if you're gone the day that I talk about this, um, come see me at some point or email me and I can explain what this is. Okay. Uh, one other thing that we're going to be doing, this will be breaking it up. So if you are fifth or sixth period, you'll do this next week, but this is just for fourth since it's, I'm doing it on a Wednesday. We need to do the student path survey again. It's something that all the English classes are doing. Um, so you can click on it and there's instructions on how to get to it and access it if you need it. And then this Wednesday, this is just for fourth period because the following Wednesday, I will be doing this with my fifth and sixth. So fifth and sixth, you can ignore this part of the video. You'll do this next week. This is going to be an activity where we look at a student example of a persuasive paper. Uh, at, in semester one, one of my sophomores, Morgan, wrote a persuasive essay on cancel culture, and she gave me permission to use it as an example. So we're going to use it in two different parts. One, individually, I'm going to give you a printed out copy of her paper and the rubric for which I used to score it, and you are gonna grade it. You're gonna score it, and you're gonna grade it based off of what was put in the rubric. And then after doing that individually, in groups of three, you're going to identify her evidence and the points that she made, and you're gonna answer this question. Why is this a good example of a persuasive essay? Now, I want you to hear me on this. This is not a knock to Morgan. This is not a perfect paper. Um, because I don't really think a perfect anything exists, but it is a very good example. So I want you to tell me by looking at it, grading it, talking about it in your group, why is it a good example of a persuasive essay as a um, mentor text? So that will be an in-class activity, and this will be solely done on paper. It's, nothing is in the slides for this. Okay, so we'll have some independent reading time. And then we're going to go over the instructions for your persuasive paper. It's linked on Canvas, and I believe it's linked in your slides. So if you have questions about that, I will let you go through and look at that. But if you have questions on what the instructions are for this paper, please let me know. And then we're going to end our time, or most of our time in class with on Thursday and Friday, with finishing our research to find sources for our paper and then doing check-ins. And this check-in is when you will come up to me one by one and tell me what is your topic so that I can kind of give you my final stamp of approval and then you know, give you any clarity that you need on the assignment. And then you can also check in with me about your Super Bowl ad. And then on Friday, we will have First Chapter Friday. So that is it for week five. If you have any questions, please let me know.